Hello guys, I'm doing another quick lead code problem today before work. I'm starting work soon, so we will just go through this fast. It's called valid parentheses. Uh, and it says given a string containing just the characters and you have all the kind of opening and closing brackets here, determine if the input string is valid. An input string is valid if open brackets must be closed by the same type of brackets so this should be closed by this, this should be closed by this and open brackets must be closed in the correct order so basically we want to check if the string has brackets if the brackets in the string are appearing like they would appear in a normal program that we write know that an empty string is also considered valid so we have a few examples here. This is true because it's closed by the same type of brackets. Same here, all of them are closed by the same type of brackets. This is false because it's not closed by the same type of bracket. False again. And this is true because we have open, open, then this one is closed by this one. And this one is closed by this one. So I'm going to copy this function here. And Basically what we're going to do is we're going to use a stack. We will push, uh, so we will go through all the characters of the string and every time when we, op when we encounter an opening bracket, we will push it in the stack. So for example like this, we this and this, open, open, and every time when we encountering a closing one, what we want to do is check it against the last parenthesis in the stack like let's say we get this we check it uh, we check it against this one and we check to see if it's the corresponding opening one here if it's not uh, then we will be returning false we will be returning from the uh, from the function with false if it is like this then we will just remove that one and go forward and at the end we want to check if the stack is empty if the stack is empty it means all the uh, all the brackets were closed and we will return true uh, if not um, we will be returning false because it will not be valid so what i want to do is create um, an object and uh, I will do um, the um, closing brackets as properties and opening brackets as values and you will see why later so I'm going to say closing one as property uh, and uh, opening one as value same for this one same for this one right and we will also create a stack on stack equals an array and what we want to do is look through all the characters in the array now and we, we can look through uh, to of the string now and we can look exactly the same as we look through an array so uh, we will say for let i yeah, going until the last characters i plus plus and what we want to do is say if uh, and now we have some uh, methods that we can use on object if we say object va object values object that values of uh, parentheses we will get an array with all these values in order and if you say object that keys of parentheses we will get all the properties in an array so what we want to do is check if the current um, character in the string the current character that we're checking so if s of no we want to check if it's contained in this values so if it's an opening one so we want to say if object 
values of parentheses includes that's how we check if it's included includes s of i is that correct yeah um then what you want to do is uh, push s of i in the stack so you want to say stack push s of i else so if it's not an opening one it would be a closing one so now here what you want to check is if uh, so basically we will get we know that is this uh, this is this is a closing one now so we will check if parentheses of the closing one so if parentheses of s of i right so we if we are encountering a closing one uh, we say parentheses of this and we will get an opening one so we will ch uh, have uh, what we're doing we're checking if the corresponding opening one uh, is different than the last one in this array so we're saying if parentheses of s of i is different of and we're going to do stack pop so st stack pop what it does is basically you use it on an array and it removes it removes the last value in the array but it also has it in the in stack pop so basically this is the value of the uh, of the last element but also now stack uh, uh, we also have removed that element from stack because we have to remove it either way if this is not equals we determine false and it doesn't matter and uh, if if it if it is equal uh, it doesn't matter we still have to remove it so we're saying if these are not equal then we will returning false so we will say if these are not equal return false so this will return um, from the array with false and now outside of the outside of the if in the loop uh, well at the end of the loop after we go gone through everything we want to say If now we want to say return stack length equals zero. So basically, this will uh, evaluate twelve or uh, true or false. If stack length stack length is zero, it will return true. So it is true. If not, it will return false. So let's just copy this here and check it. I'm gonna um, I'm gonna test it with a few values in the console. Uh, so all this here, and let's say let. Uh, Equal and let's check this, 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 this. So this should be valid. Let's check is valid of parent. Parenthesis is not a function, but it's valid. Uh, what we're doing uh, wrong here. Oh. Uh. Oh yeah. He here shouldn't be this because we're checking the property. We're not calling the function. So let's copy this again. Uh. 
moment I'm going to refresh this. I'm going to go like this and go like I go yes valid of this. So this basically this is false, obviously. Let's check parent and it's true and we can put strings directly in here like this let's check empty string so this is valid you can see it works for empty string as well we put this this is false we put this this and this this is true so it is working so i hope you guys understood what i was doing here uh, and if not, please leave a comment and I will try to explain it better for you. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. It will help the channel grow and keep me motivated to doing more of these kinds of videos.